forth the radical, fanatical gospel message of Jesus Christ, the message of Jesus Christ's liberation to the world. revolutionary message of love, truth, justice, righteousness, holiness, and after the sick and the afflicted. And there will be persecution persecution is persecution in America by the radical liberals as leftists the atheists the evolutionists the global warmer of the tree huggers and the global warmers that want to enslave the populate the populace. Christ came to give hope to the hopeless, to give revolution to the hopeless. opinion of the masses is false doctrines, false teachers, any ideology and philosophy that is contrary to the revealed truth of the word of God found in scripture. And there'll be periods of persecution. Many will suffer, but eventually the world will slowly and gradually be Christianized, ushering in a golden age of peace and prosperity. Psalm 2, Psalm uh, 22 and 72. 11. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God with which I have been entrusted. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has strengthened me because he considered me faithful putting me into service. Verse 13, even though I was formerly a blasphemer, persecutor, and a violent aggressor, Yet I was shown mercy because I acted ignorantly in my unbelief, and the grace of our Lord was more than, and the grace of our Lord was more than abundant with the faith and love which were found in Christ Jesus. Verse 15, it is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance that Christ, Jesus, came into the world to save sinners, among whom I was foremost of all. Apostle Paul being, had murder in his heart before he came to the south, came to salvation in the Lord. And he had mercy on you and I. And mercy on myself. When I was, my God, when the light of the truth came to me at 16, I became born again and was saved from a life of drugs and alcohol and heavy metal and music and so on. His message is forgiveness and love, and we are to bring forth that 
message. to the world. Verse 16, Yet for this reason I found mercy so that in me as the foremost Jesus Christ might demonstrate his perfect patience as an example for those who would believe in him for eternal life. Now the king, now to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory for ever and ever. Amen. It is important for believers to have godly examples to follow after, to live up to, mentors, people who portray the godly life lived out in the relationship to the Lord. It's important that children have mentors, that children can look up to their fathers and mothers, mothers and fathers living out their faith before their kids, who practices what they try to practice what they preach. In the church, in the community, leaders, I got lots of mentors. One of my mentors that I look up to, by the, a guy by the name of Kaiser Wilhelm II and the First, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., and the Red Baron, and people in my church, my Christ Jesus. And many, many people that played an influence in my life as I grew, as I developed and grew in my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Teachers and leaders that taught me. what this truth of Christ means. Example. It's taught. But there's some truths from them that I learned and served as an excellent example for me and other brothers and sisters in the faith leaders and so forth that I don't necessarily agree with, but look up to and have respect for to help mold my Christian character, help me put into my, put into practice my political philosophy of a Christian worldview. Verse 18, this command I and trust to you, Timothy, my son, in accordance with the prophecy previously made concerning you, that by them you fight for the good fight, keeping faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected and suffered shipwreck in regards to their faith. important that we are completely and 100 percent committed to God's will and purpose for our lives, serving Him, living for Him, 
living a godly and holy life. And developing our intimate relationship and standing up for what is right. Even if it isn't popular or politically correct. Or the popular philosophy of the day. We need to stand, fight for them, fight the good fight, stand up for what God stands for, the Bible stands for, bringing forth the message of the gospel, of salvation by faith, faith alone, saved by grace, justified by faith alone, saved in the works, not meritorious. Standing up for truth, justice, the poor, the sick, the afflicted. Standing up for God's moral law and God's civil law. Staying committed to God even if the odds are against us. And we will go through suffering. We will go through much tribulation before we enter the kingdom of God. But the world will be Christianized, ushering the golden age of peace and prosperity. Psalm 2, Psalm 22, Psalm 72. Our goal is to, to fulfill the Great Commission and bring the truth of His gospel to the world.